Hey, Peter the Pirate. You want to make some bread today? Arr. You got a bowl. You got a spoon. Let's all make bread. Okay. This is such easy peasy bread. Even Pete the Pirate can do it. Hi, like Pete, where'd you come from? Oh, anyway. Okay, so I will put the recipe and make it go across things like it does. Somebody's going to do that for me. Anyway, um, give yourself like a one and a half cups of cold water. This is a trick I learned in the Army. I wasn't in the Army, but... Um, then fill it up to the two cup mark with hot oil and water. And that cools it to room temperature enough, or gets it cool enough, to add your yeast. We're going to add two teaspoons of yeastums. Ooh. Okay. Arr, what do you think? Uh, okay, so that's in there. Now, okay, so you want to add a little bit of sugar. Of course, I had everything together before I did this, except for the sugar. Anyway. Add a little sugar. I'm gonna sugar. Anyway, put a little sugar in there. And get it going. Um, that'll activate the yeast. I don't necessarily think you actually have to do the sugar thing, but well, just for good. Okay. So while it's ba 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 bubbling, we will put the rest of our thousands of get out of your peat. Arg, I have to go. Uh, Pete's gone. So, let me get my cup measurement. Easy peasy. Today I am going to do, and of course measuring is, is so important to be accurate. One. <laughs> and let's see. Two. Three. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to add in for my fourth cup I'm going to add in whole wheat flour, okay? Nice looking, lovely, isn't that lovely? Oh, and if you've ever made bread without salt, ugh, call me flat, call me dead. Anyway, this recipe of mine, which is modified from the original, only has a teaspoon of salt in it. It originally had two, come on. You don't need that much. You just need a much to keep the flatness out of your bread and do some of the help that it does in there. It's like, okay, I am not a person that likes to hang around eating bread. I used to, but not anymore. I got that down. Um, now let's do a little bit of an additive thing going on here. This is flax meal. I take flax seeds and I grind them in my coffee grinder. Really, if you just eat your flax seeds, without grinding them, they're going to go through. <laughs> it's not pretty sad. Well, it is kind of wild. Anyway, then I'm going to take some chia, chia seeds, and I'll desell them now. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in. It's going to give my, my uh, bread a nice uh, texture and add nutrition to it. And then I, this time, also want to add some sesame seeds. So I'm going to put them in it as well as around it. And you're going to see a lovely, lovely, lovely loaf of bread with a little seedies under. Isn't this pretty? This is going, this is my artisan bread version of the artisan bread. Okay, so now let's mix it all in. Mix it, mix it. It's looking a lovely. Nice. Okay. So, are we bubbling enough? You know it's bubbling enough to me. You know, it's not going to go unless you walk away and forget about it and it's like, oh, right. Uh, no worries, just dump it in. This is so hard. I just hate it. I hate sharing this with you because I hate to put you to work. Anyway, even, anyway. So, you just mix this around. Mix it, mix it, mix it. I got a bowl, I got a spoon. I'm gonna make bread. 
Let's stand up and get my whole body behind it. <laughs> it's really not that hard. <laughs> I think you should try it. Anyway, the reason I am doing this now, because I really don't like long videos where people are stirring and stirring like nuts, and it's like five minutes later, they're still stirring and they're still talking and they're still driving me crazy. Get to the point, I say. Well, this is the point. It's ready. It's done. I mean, was anybody counting? Do you know how long that took me? Okay, so you're all mixed up like a blob. No kneading, just mixing. Yeah. Um, and then I have my pre, oops, <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> five second rule here. Um, well, I have my pre, that's one of the top mm, disliked words, do you know that? Okay, uh, anyway, this is a tea towel, British speaking, or a dish towel. And it's wet. Okay, so we go like this. Oh, good. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm either going to put it in a very warm space somewhere around the house. A lot of times it's on top of your refrigerator or um, at my house, it's by the fireplace. But um, Or you can heat your oven for one minute on 350 and then turn it off. I forgot to turn it off one time. Hmm. Anyway, it wasn't a pretty sight. Well, it's kind of done, but I, anyway. So, uh, and then turn it off and then put this in the oven for an hour. Me and Pete were waiting. We got 50 minutes to go. We could have a little song about making bread. song about making bread. We're so hungry, P.T. and I, and he's not the most patient. phase two of artisan bread making and he's gonna hand me that John A is gonna hand me that just came out of the oven tea towel off tea towel okay so look at that look at that it's all risen up <laughs> okay so you know it's kind of gooby but here's another little trick I learned in the army a little butter on your hands. Now, you can take your Pyrex bowls. You can, as long as it's an oven, oven safe material. And that one of the secrets is to really grease it up with butter. Whoa, and I use a baggie and I get it in. And then the stuff that I made today, oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Messy. Anyway, that's what water's for. You wash it off and stuff like that. Anyway, then I sprinkle the sesame seeds. <laughs> sesame, this is not working. It worked before, anyway. There, good. This one's really good too. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take this glop, and I'm just gonna kind of make a little bit of an indentation. This is coming pretty good. And I'm just gonna take my hands. Oh boy, ah, enough for forming those loaves. Get it in. Okay, then I got a little bit left in the bowl that I put down my dog takes care of that. Okay, so you've got it. You can add more sesame seeds on the top. Oh, as a matter of fact, let's do that. 
Okay, we'll do that. Then, also, sometimes also what I do is when I put the grease in the bowl, grease it all up, um, you can take some like garlic salt or things like your seasonings. Oh, that is really good when you eat that. Okay, so I have the oven on at 425 to start with. That's the key word, start with. Okay, 425. You want me to put some of that on? The peanut gallery has spunky. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Garlic, herb, salt, free, oh, salt. Anyway, there you go. That's on top of that one. Okay, so this is going to go on the back of the stove. I'm going to put the moist thing, um, tea towel over it again. And it's going to take another 30 minutes. But I have the oven on at 425. It's getting all heated up. And by the time that this is ready to go in the oven, it'll be ready. And I'll put it in for 10 minutes. 10 fingers. Minutes. Okay. And then you turn your oven down to 375. And you finish it off. It takes another 20, 30, 25 minutes to go. Oh, another key to bread making. Isn't that pretty? That you want to do. Now, John, can you put these on the back of the stove, just on the burners, and then lay this cover over? And... Night, night. You always, now I did it on the batch before. You always, always, mostly always, if you can remember, make a little loaf for someone in your life. That's the key to making the best bread in the world, is to make a little loaf and take it to somebody. Um, and we take it to a lady that we, we is her friend, and um, she loves it. So, it's because we like her too. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Uh, it'll go in, and then I guess I'll give you a little shot of one. Here they are, fresh out of the oven. Don't they look good? Oh no, oh, 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 that's hot. Some of the hand tried to grab it. Can I dump it out? If you want to. Okay, they come out real easy because you've, because uh, I've greased the um, bowl <laughs> really well. That's one of those really cool oven mitt thingies that John got for me. There you go. Pretty.